Hello everyone, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights. I welcome you once again for the CSAT series question of the day 16. See the question says the houses of A and B face each other on a road going north-south, A is being on the western side, A comes out of his house, turns left, travels 5 kilometers, turns right, again travels to the front of D's house. B does exactly the same and reaches the front of C's house. In this context, which one of the following statement is correct? Okay, which of these statements are correct? And this question is asked from, taken from 2011 paper. See, before going to this question, let's take a background. Yeah, anyway, this question is chosen from directions and distance. Look here now. Most of the time, in the directions questions, if the distance between two points means distance between let's say A and B. See distance is always the shortest distance. Okay. It can also be called as displacement. The shortest distance between two points is called displacement. Okay. Take this figure now. This is a triangle ABC and this is a right angle triangle. Okay. If you see a triangle like this, do not assume this as a right angle triangle. Unless and until you see this angle, this is not a right angle triangle. Okay. Now this becomes a right angle triangle. Okay. Right angle triangle of side AB, BC and AC. Okay. See, whenever the right angle triangle is there, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem that is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. That means the shortest distance to travel from A to C is not from A to B and B to C. You can travel directly from A to C. And to measure the distance AC, we use a theorem that is Pythagoras AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, where AC is equal to root of AB square plus BC square. Okay. Now, if I say this length AB is equal to 4 and this length BC is equal to 3, if I substitute in this one to find AC, that is nothing but 4 square plus 3 square, isn't it? This AB square is nothing but 4 square, BC is nothing but 3 square, that is 4 square plus 3 square. 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9, so root of 25, that is equal to 5. Okay. This is equal to 5. Similarly, now, if I say this is 8 and this is 6, if you put here 8 square is 64 and 6 square is 36, so 64 plus 36 is 100, root of 100 is 10, this becomes 10. These are called triplets, okay, 4, 3, 5, 8, 6 and you will get 10 here. Now, look here, if you double this one, okay, I am taking this one as 10 here. This also will be doubled and this also will be doubled, isn't it or not? See, 4 becomes 8, 3 becomes 6 and 5 becomes 10. If you triple this one here, 5 into 3 if you take 15, this also triples here, this becomes 9 and this becomes 12, okay, isn't it? See, 12 square is nothing but 144, 9 square is 81, 144 plus 81 is nothing but 15 square that is 225. Okay, and this works for so many other numbers. For example, these are the triplets. Okay, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, 9, 40, 41, 11, 60, 61, 12, 35 and 37. Okay, so try to remember these things. This will help you a lot of time in the exam. Similarly, now look here. See, consider this as a right angle triangle in which these two sides are equal, okay, these two sides are equal. If two sides are equal, then two angles has to be equal in an equilateral triangle and this kind of triangle is called isosceles triangle, okay. Isosceles triangle means two sides and also two angles has to be equal or equal. See, some of the interior angle of a triangle, this is the interior angle. If you add all the angles here, this has to be equal to 180 degree. Sum of all the interior angle is equal to 180 degree and this is 90 degree here. Okay, totally this has to be 180 degree and these two angles are same means this has to be 45 degree and this is 45 degree. Okay, now see if these two are same, if I say this is 5, this is 5, 
then this becomes root of phi square plus phi square that is root of 50 or else I can write this as 25 into 2. So, phi root 2. Okay, phi root 2. So, the value of this hypotenuse or the longest side, the hypotenuse will be the longest side in a right angle triangle. This is phi root 2 here. Okay, similarly, if it is 10, 10, 10 root 2, 15, 15, 15 root 2. If this is x, x, this will be x root 2, x root 2. Similarly, now in a right angle triangle, if these two sides are equal, isosceles triangle, and if this side is 5, this side will be 5 by root 2, and this is also same as 5 by root 2. If this is x, this has to be x by root 2, okay, x by root 2. Remember these things, okay. And try to remember these values of roots here, okay. Root 2, at least one decimal point, 1.4, root 3, 1.7, root 4, anyway, you know, 2.0, root 5 is nothing but 2.2, root 6 is 2.4, root 7 is 2.6, root 8 is 2.8, and root 9 is 3, okay. Try to remember this one from starting from 2, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, at least one decimal point. Now, going back to the question now, see in this question, okay, this is the figure of the question. In most of the direction question, make use of a figure or else put a small figure here. See, in the question, he has mentioned that this is A's house and this is B's house. They are opposite to each other. A comes out and travels 5 kilometers to the left, okay and takes right turn and travels for another 5 kilometers and comes in the front of D's house. This is D's house. Similarly, B also do, okay. B do means B comes out and takes a left turn. See, if B comes out, this is the street, B comes out, if he takes left turn, he will be traveling in this direction, okay. After reaching 5 kilometers, again, he takes right turn, okay. Whatever A is doing, he is also doing, but in the opposite direction here. So, he reaches in front of C's house, okay. So, is the question or the options is which of these following are true. See, the distance between D and C's house here. What is the distance between D's and C's house here? Okay, look here now. If I draw an imaginary line here, and construct a triangle here. This becomes a 90 degree because this is a perpendicular I am drawing here. Okay. See, if this is 5, this also should be 5 because this length is 5 here. Isn't it? And this is 5 and this is also 5. This whole length is 10 here. So, this becomes from here to here 10. From here to here, this is also 10, right? 5 plus 5, this is 10 and from here to here it is 10. So, this becomes a triangle of 90 degree, something like this. Okay. This is 10 and this is 10. Okay, and these two sides are equal, right? 10. And this is the hypotenuse. If this is 10, this is 10. This has to be what? This is 10 root 2. 10 root 2. Okay, and you know the value of root 2. Root 2 is approximately 10 into 1.4. That is approximately 14, we can say. Okay, and coming back to the options. See, C and D live on the same street. No, okay. D was living somewhere here. And C was living somewhere here, isn't it? Okay, these are A, B. A travels like this, B travels like this, isn't it? Okay, they are not on the same street. C's house faces south. C, B reaches in front of C's house. Okay, C house can be here, door or else here, we don't know. Okay, we cannot say for sure C's house faces south. Another one, the house of C and D are less than 20 kilometers apart. Okay, see this distance is seeing. This is less than 20 kilometers apart. See, this is not the distance. He has not mentioned the shortest distance. See, even though he doesn't mention explicitly the shortest distance, always and always in the directions and distance question, go for the shortest distance. That is the displacement. He is asking nothing but the shortest distance only. The distance between these two points is nothing but what? See, this is 10, this is 10, this is 14 approximately we got it as 14 right so this is less than 20 only so the option is c we'll go to the yesterday's bouncer question now find the perimeter of the path 
See, perimeter of the path is nothing but this is the perimeter here. This is the perimeter you have to find out. Okay, the length of this line you have to find out. Okay, look here now. See, this is nothing but 10, right? And this is also 10. I have told you in the yesterday's video also. This is 10 and this is 10. Okay, this is 10. This is 10. If I consider this as whole line, complete line, if I take and put it here, this becomes a complete line, right? Okay, and this length is 50 here. Okay, look here. This line, if I put here, so this becomes the length of the same line, 50. Same thing if I put this one here, this is 50. Okay, if I put here, that's also the same line distance, that is 100. If I put this one here, 100. So, this becomes what? 100 plus 100 plus 50 plus 50. So, this is nothing but 300. Okay, 300 square. It's not square meters. It's meters here. Okay. It's not square here. 300 meters is the perimeter here. And this is the bouncer of today. Try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section guys. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.